Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Welcome back everybody. This video, we're gonna be talking about arguments and parameters. So we have this custom method here, user.output. All it does is output the person's first and last name to the console, really nothing special. We probably could have just did that ourselves here. But as we build out more complex methods, they're gonna save us a lot of time. For example, if we wanted to output the person's first and last name numerous times for some reason, or we wanted to do some action numerous times, we could make a method to take that as an argument and then it'll do it that number of times. So let's say we wanted to output it six times. Well, when you do that, you can see we get an error and we have a couple of potential fixes. One of them is change the method, output and add a parameter int. So I'm going to click that and then in our user class, you can see it added that parameter i. I don't really like that name because I'm gonna create a loop and I usually use i for the, the iteration variable. So I'm going to change that to times. Now we're gonna create a loop in here. For int i is zero, i less than times, i plus plus. In this loop, we're just going to output this. Very simple, but it saves us from having to write the loop in the calling code and it doesn't pollute this as much, so it's a little bit cleaner. Executing this, you can see we get this numerous times in the console. And we can pass in different numbers, so it's very dynamic. We can pass in a two, and you can see it only writes it twice. Now, so far, this method is all right, but it's not amazing. One of the reasons I don't like it is because it's outputting it to the console, but we might not want to do that. We might just want to return the value, and what that means is how can we get whatever this is calculating, this string here, how can we get that over here? That's where the return comes in and that's what we're gonna be talking about in the next video. Returns are super important and you'll want to check it out.